Hello, Svengers. It's me, Svenny McGee. Now, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is coming very soon. We absolutely loved the first one. And with the upcoming sequel, it looks like we're going to see way more Spider-Man variants. Now, I don't know if they have any special significance, but spoiler alert, I have found some action figures in store already. And we're going to take a look at some of those characters now. So if you want to go to the movie fresh, maybe this isn't the video for you. But otherwise... Let's go check them out. These figures here weren't exactly from the newest one. I'm sure we may see some variation of these. I'm only showing you these figures today because these are 1995 Toy Biz variations of Spider-Man. And of course, this was the very first Spider-Man uh, multiverse we saw in Spider-Man the Animated Series by John Sepper Jr. Uh, you don't have to be as old as I am to rem remember these figures. The show is currently on Disney Plus so I definitely recommend checking it out and when you get to the last couple episodes of the entirety of the series you will see some of these various Spider-Man characters including Scarlet Spider and of course our eight-legged man spider. So I just want to give a quick shout out there of course, there was also the Dan Slott comic book that followed that. And now here we are with Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, across the Spider-Verse. And this was the first character I found was Spider-Gwen. Of course, Spider-Gwen's not new. Gwen Stacy was in the first film. I didn't have the character here, Ghost Spider, Spider-Gwen. So I thought that I would pick the character up. You can see now Hasbro's really pushing for plastic-free packaging. So this really just is a character with these... They have that kind of cardboard rope here tying her down and then that's it. It's all in the cardboard box. So we're not going to get anything new in a bubble anymore, folks, and that's okay. Coming up next here, I found Spider-Punk. Now, Spider-Punk is actually voiced by Daniel Kaluuya. I hope I got that correct. Uh, of course, he's been in some recent horror movies, but the voice actor here, I remember him best from his appearances in the Black Panther movie. Now, the character here, Spider-Punk, you can see the eyes are asynchronous here. They got a bit of a, more of a drag to it. Of course, the metal spikes coming out the top. The armband, of course, we have the web singing, but it's also, for a punk, it would be kind of rock and roll, right? And it actually comes with the spider guitar here, you can see. So, pretty interesting because there he is just rocking out. Spider-Punk is a British punk rock Spider-Man with wicked electric guitar. So I don't know how much screen time the character is going to get again because the movie doesn't come out for another month. However, I thought this was definitely a unique looking character. Next year, I have this character, Cyborg Spider-Woman. Can't tell you too much about the actual character itself. You can see that there are cyborg implants on the eye here. Looks like a breathing apparatus similar to like Bane. Giant metal shoulder spike arm cannon coming out the side here when you squeeze the legs you see the cannon actually spins and again even looks like the chains come down to this kind of necklace around here so again an absolute hulking size figure when compared to spider gwen or spider punk this character is absolutely massive how are they going to play out in the movie I can't wait to see myself. In the back here says, Cyborg Spider-Woman is part Spider-Woman, part machine with years of experience and a cannon for an arm. We're not giving you too much in ahead of the movie here, but again, kind of neat to see some of these characters that we know are going to be shown on screen here. Again, Spider-Gwen was never a doubt, but these are some of the new characters. Now, I did see Spider-Man 2099 there, Miguel O'Hara. I did see, of course, Miles uh, Morales' character, spider-man and they're shown right here on the box now i do have other action figures of those characters so i didn't bother to pick them up here to try and complete a particular set or anything um i just i simply didn't have a spider gwen yet and i thought this character looked cool nice points of articulation here so this was the one i went with these ones here of course i've never seen before so there you have it okay my friends before we go i thought i'd do a quick unboxing again shout out to hasbro for the no plastic here because Quite literally here, there is a little set of instructions underneath here if I want to open this up. But because this is now plastic free, I can put this directly right into the recycling. So kudos to them. Getting a better look at the characters. So of course, Spider-Gwen, trademark running shoes, uh, you know, just the patterning on the back, the spiders on the sleeves. Comes with this here, and this is meant to just clip on if you want to show Glenn is actually shooting webs out. Let's even clip it on top, shooting, shooting from the wrist. But again, that's... The character right there in a nutshell, Spider-Gwen. Hey, hey, there goes the Spider-Gwen. As for Spider-Punk, again, giant boots here. Wearing the suspenders, but having them dangle down the legs. On the back, you can see the letters here, S-F-M-N. So perhaps Spider-Man, I don't know. If you guys figure that out and have deciphered it, let me know. Again, points of articulation here in the shoulders and in the elbows, the head. 
not the knees, but we do have at the waist. And here's a good look at the guitar, again with a spider theme to it, and on the back here as well. And again, Spider Punk is ready to rock. Cyborg Spider Woman here, just by showing comparison, again, quite large. Articulation in the shoulders here, no bending in the arms on this character, just the head here. Not the legs, but again, the idea is if you give it the twist, you can make the the Gatling gun, so to speak, going off on the arm. Even a nice yellow belt, just kind of like Batman. Cool characters, glad I picked them up. Definitely can't wait to see these characters on screen. Are you excited for the movie? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing as it definitely helps grow my channel. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. Till I see you guys again soon, please take care and be good to each other. Bye now.